first question for you four beautiful ladies uh, from left to right. How many titles and what is the biggest so far going into tonight? Uh, I believe I have eight professional titles, the biggest being the Men's Tournament of Champions in 2010. Um, I have one national title, that being uh, the Queens in 2011. I have two Women's Series titles and the 2009 World Singles Champion. And I have three World Champion titles. Okay, you want to, Lyle? Uh, as far as this tournament and your progression through the event, um, as you got into match play, um, having the fifth spot, did, did that give you a little bit of extra comfort? Or Because last year there were only four. There were five. I'm sorry. Okay. A lot of times on the PBA Tour, there's only four of these days. Uh, but as you got into the position round, it was pretty close for that uh, for that last spot. So it must have been pretty intense. What, what were you thinking as you were you're going into the uh, the position round match? What were, and you had to go from second. You went from second to third. So other than Kelly that had run away, there was still a lot of flux. So what were what were your prospects and the based on the pairs that you were on going into that position round game? Um, in my match, uh, I had Stephanie and I were really close. It was basically whoever won the match was going to be third seed, and I was 100 pins behind um, Shannon. And so I was just trying to pop a big game and throw as many strikes as I could, and, yeah, and thankfully the, the pins uh, fell my way. Uh, so I was able to jump up into second. But, yeah, I was definitely looking at the scores. But fortunately, I was secure for the show, but just placing. Uh, I was secured for the show. I don't look at scores when I bowl. I had no idea what place I was in until we were standing there and, and uh, Kelly, I, I asked Kelly to tell me. So I don't look at scores when I bowl because it doesn't matter until the last game is over anyway. So whatever is supposed to be will be and, and it just allows me to just bowl free. So that's what I do. Um, fortunately, I guess when it was all said and done, I had a couple hundred pin cushion, so I was good. I was pretty much... Uh, locked as well for at least the fourth seed um, so kind of like most of them you just get out there and bowl you know you want to bowl as well as you can so you end on a good note but um, at the end of the day we just all want to make the show yeah. you had Linda bowling to Neil for the for the fifth and sixth um, but you had a, enough of a cushion that you were pretty much you felt you were yeah, in the right show yeah, we all, yeah. Yep. Okay. yeah pretty much the fifth seed was the one that was up for grabs probably between two or three of them depending on who won and how big their game was right yep. Kelly, uh, last year, how much did you lead the tournament by? Do you recall? Um, I don't recall. I, I know it was by maybe 300 pins or so, somewhere around there. Yeah. Okay. Right. Very, very similar. Yeah. When you're leading the tournament by that much, is 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 there a bit of a psychological disadvantage that you feel you've got to win it twice? Um. You know, because we don't get to bowl as many events a year when we have two, you never put yourself in that position very often enough to do it. Last year, it, we bowling in that environment, and I just never got a good feel. This year, I'm, I'm more determined to bowl really well this final match and just and see what happens. Whether Whoever I face, as I said earlier, I'm just going to try to bowl the pins. I want to stay within my own self physically. That's what I did the last game, really just trying to, to focus on my fundamentals, know that they would be sound going into tonight's telecast. Okay. Go ahead, Joan. Okay, um, you you bowled yesterday in the uh, the national stadium. You obviously all knew the shot, what to do, what to, how to prepare. Tonight there will be not only a whole different set of Brunswick lanes, but also mega Uber distractions. How do you prepare differently for something like that rather than going to the center where you qualified? If you prepare differently, um, I think for me, instead of trying to fight it, you just have to accept it. Whether we know it's going to be loud, it's an environment none of us have never bowled in, so it's fair for all of us. We're all on an even playing field, and again, the one who adapts will, will be most successful. But it's one of those things. I think any athlete they find themselves in the zone that all the outside forces really can't overcome what we're focusing internally. So I think all of us will do a great job on that. We all practiced this afternoon. We all looked very comfortable, and hopefully that will lead into a lot of success. <laughs> Um, I'm just excited, actually, to bowl in a different environment. Uh, I really am excited to bowl outside. I know that that's very different, and it's completely different from what we've been doing um, all week. But I'm excited, and I think that the fans that are going to be out there and all the noise, I think it just adds to um, how big of a moment that this is for all of us. 
just having been involved with the planning of the event for probably over a year now, it's just exciting for me to see it all come to fruition. And, you know, it, it's just going to be super exciting outside for the city of Reno. And, you know, we're just as excited to put on a great show. Yeah, it, really what Kelly said is, you know, you're bowling the pins at that point, and it's just getting comfortable and finding your, your comfort spot and finding that zone. So really I'm just, it, I, I prefer it louder anyways when I bowl. I don't like it pin drop quiet. So I'm excited for this. It's going to be awesome. Anything extra you're uh, having to do with your grip, um, open up your thumb holes or anything along those lines, with, you know, being in an, an outdoor environment? No, actually, for me, it, the only thing is my tape was peeling off my thumb, but I think it was just because it was a thousand degrees outside. So tonight, once the sun goes down, it should be okay. How about the approaches? Approaches were fine. Yep. For you. Uh, Linda's not here, but three of you were in this environment last year. You feel a, a little bit of an advantage to this or comfort zone, or does it not make a difference? Uh, Kelly and Shannon. Um. I'm in the same predicament as I was last year, just a different scenery. So uh, I, I've, I have some demons I have to battle within myself. But I, I, as Missy said, it's, it's going to be fun. And um, it, it should just play to be interesting, whether the outside factors come into play, the lights, the beautiful sky at nighttime, you know, bats flying over us. We'll see. <laughs> yeah, I was very comfortable last year, actually. Uh, I was a little overwhelmed when we first walked into Cowboy Stadium last year, but then once we actually got on the lanes, it was still just bowling. It was just you in the lane in the pins, and it's going to be the same thing tonight. So I'm, I'm ready. It'll be great. Um, the PBA uh, Summer Series, you bowled it this year, but I guess none of you bowled it when it was outdoors at Six Flags. No. So this really is. In, in all your international competition, can you explain maybe a, a, any kind of a exotic place that – you had to bowl in or a title match this is really this no I, I bowled in a, a crazy arena setting um, in February in Japan that was really neat uh, they did a whole spectacle with the um, the whole production of it of how we walked out and stuff like that but nothing like this where it's outside this is really cool <laughs> okay. I guess um, Stephanie and I bowled in a mall so we bowled in a mall and I bowled in Cowboy Stadium, and I get a bowl outside. So I'm apparently making a career of bowling in weird places. <laughs> yeah, the mall, that's unique. That was in Las Vegas. Yeah. Fashion okay. mall. Any superstitions or lucky charms? Um, my mom's here. I'm just happy she's here. She, she always said that, you know, sometimes I lose when she's here, and then I've won when she has been. So I'm just grateful that she made the trek out here to Reno, and, and she's going to be my lucky charm tonight. Um, I, on my shirt tonight, I'm wearing a, a sticker for a very good friend of mine that passed away this week. He is also uh, one of our employees. So um, that's kind of been my inspiration for this week. Uh, the last thing he told me was, good luck, Missy. Go win the whole thing. So that's what I'm trying to do. And uh, so I'm trying to do that for him. So I'll have a special sticker on my shirt tonight. I don't necessarily have any superstitions. You know, I'm just going to go out there and embrace the moment and you know, enjoy it with all these ladies and let nature kind of take its course. Uh, one of my, I, I coached little girls and one of them sent um, an angel bowling, uh, bowling for me. And I wore it on my shirt, but my necklace was getting caught in it. But it's in my bag. It's not too far away. And uh, I guess sometimes it's a joke in the O'Keefe house that my husband's a black cloud and he is far, far away. He's in Thailand coaching the World Youth Championships right now. So maybe this time we'll win. <laughs> Just to get a, a little bit technical, it's a it's a new day, and it's obviously a new new site to, to bowl on. Uh, equipment wise, are you comfortable with what you've got? Uh, you had a little chance to practice earlier today. Uh, have you been able to set up some kind of game plan in your mind with the equipment you've got, and and how you suspect it might change? Yeah, it, we definitely took a look at how the stuff was rolling in comparison to one another out there. Uh, they've definitely rolled different than they did in the stadium, but I think that's to be expected. Uh, usually in practice sessions like this, I don't take too much to heart. I just try to get myself comfortable, get comfortable with my surroundings, and you know, I'll do what the lane is telling me I need to do when the time comes. I, I second that. Um, you know, we bowled this afternoon, of course, in the middle of uh, the, I mean, it felt like it was 100 degrees High out noon. there. <laughs> Uh, tonight it will not be that 
hot, so the lanes will definitely play differently. And just, you know, to mimic what Shannon said, you know, they'll be different tonight. We'll just uh, embrace whatever the lane pattern is going to put out there. Yeah, I mean, definitely I have a game plan, but it's not solid and concrete. At, nope, not by any means. Um, because, you know, whenever you have a practice session, as we all bowler, all of our bowlers know, that they're always different when you start. So we have a little bit of an idea. Yes, they were different today than the stadium, but like Stephanie said, that's definitely expected. So just going to expect anything tonight. What they said. <laughs> no, you can't plan for the unexpected. Uh, I, I know I drilled a couple more balls just to give me some more variety. Just another look in my bag if I needed it. I, I really rely on my ball reps. Michael Calderon and Jason Couch this past week, they were very vital in my success on the lane. So I, I will I will look to them for advice, put it in my sponge, and then just rinse out what I don't want and, and make my own decision. What is the actual forecast tonight? Uh, cooler wind? Very windy. Wendy. What would forty thousand dollars and the title mean to each of you? Um, a padded bank account, um, another green blazer. But really, the, the title. I think we all strive for the title. It, the money is not the issue. The million dollars is not even the back of my head. But um, like I said the U.S. Open title is the most prestigious title you can win in any sport. And I think I know we're all gutting for it. We all want it. It would just be another title to, to add to our resume and, and look to the future to, to build on it even more. Ditto. <laughs> no, but like like Kelly said, I mean, definitely we're all looking at the at the title. Um, the money is secondary. I don't think probably any of us think about the money while we're bowling. It's it's just sheer determination and really wanting to bowl as well as we can. And obviously, we all want to win. And just like Kelly mentioned, you know, we don't have very many events to bowl, so the U.S. Women's Open is pretty much the most prestigious event that we have. So. In my opinion, it is about the title. You know, the money is a bonus, but to have a major, you know, on your resume would just be amazing. So um, we'll see what tonight brings. Yeah, exactly what they said. Money is just money. You know, it, you can lose it and you can make it. So money is just money. But having a title always forever on your career, um, that stamp, you know, it just that's awesome. It, it really, I guess, solidifies how hard you work. And uh, it that, it'd be just great. Yeah, it does. It validates every everything you've done, every ounce of sweat and tears and hard work. Ladies, I think we're uh, pretty much wrapped All up. Right. Uh, congratulations on just the fabulous week of bowling. Thank you. Your Thank talent you. is so tremendous, and uh, we'll, I'll look forward to to what's going to happen you. tonight. Thank you Thank so much. You.